So we're here to talk about cottonwoods. All of these trees behind me are cottonwoods. They grow by the water every time. Cottonwoods are your biggest trees. I mean, I can stand up against this cottonwood and you can see oh, it's so big and they get much, much bigger than this. These trees put out multiples of your morels. You can start early in the season, you can start late in the season. You're going to find them by your cottonwood. Find out what your trees are. Know your it's good to know your trees. Okay, um, ew, anyway, that wasn't, that wasn't what I came here for, <laughs> okay, let me just show you one more thing, I'm not quite there yet, okay, first of all, um, it's not even the end of March, we've got, look at these green onions, look at them, fresh, Onions everywhere, oh my god. Okay, anyway, that's beside the point. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. So I'm in this area. I don't see a lot of this, but you know, you might get lucky enough. So, look behind me. It's like a uh, man-made berm on each side. And there's like dead trees all the way down the entire thing uh i see mycelium right over here let's see what it is just because i'm here if i can get to it let's just walk to it Ooh, i don't know it's kind of uh, i don't know oh shit! that's not even mycelium those are just old dead leaves okay i thought it was a little soon for that anyway like i was saying I mean, it's just like this, all the way down the whole entire thing, okay? Let me get out of here. Anyway, a place like this is ideal for hunting morels, okay? If you can find any place that looks like this, deep crevice, it's not a creek. It's man-made and it's not a creek. Water does not run through this. It's just an area where they built it up on each side and a lot of trees have fallen or they have pulled them over this direction. What I'm saying is all of this fallen wood is a very, very good place to look for morels. Now these leaves look like they're probably many different things and of course by now they're like who knows but I look I see a lot of ash in here I see a lot of probably cherry I see cherry uh it's probably some elm and probably maybe some shagbark hickory there's some things through here however this place produces morels like no other, okay? This whole property, and it's large. It isn't just this, it's very, very large, okay? I don't know how many acres this place is, but it's gigantic. All I'm gonna say to you is this. When you see a lot of things falling down, that's always a good place to find not only morels, but other mushrooms. And just because the trees are falling down does not mean it's morel area, okay? Sometimes it's the wrong tree and it is crazy because when you don't know anything and you go to the woods, it seems like, why wouldn't I find it in any woods? But I'm telling you, it doesn't happen like that. It has to be a fairly specific type of woods and to learn what that looks like is your best whew, whew, option anyway i'm going to show you one more place in a minute hold on okay so this is my second lesson on mullen okay 
This is a second year plant. It has a big stalk. You can't miss it. It looks like this. And usually the bottom kind of looks like this on the second year. And after that, I have no idea. But before that is what you want. That's what we're looking for here. And this common area, it's just got tall grasses and things. Now, some years I have been in this exact spot where there are a hundred of those or more of those particular mullen plants which are right behind me. At this point, I don't see much of that. However, you can see the remnants, okay? This is the remnant of the mullen plant, okay? So there's going to be probably another one here this year. This whole field is covered with these plants during morel season. Commonly, I find morels growing right underneath the leaves of these mullen plants. Not only do I harvest the mullen and drink the tea all the time, all throughout the year for not only lungs, but just general um, energy. My friends and I all agree that when we drink mullen tea, it gives us this extra energy and it does work on your lungs and it does um, shorten any kind of cold or any kind of thing like that. So I just want to pass that on and show you that this field of grass will be full of mullen, a, a um, very medicinal, very easy to find and harvest and dry and use plant. Make that mullen tea. I'm telling you, I think I like it more than turkey tail. And I've been selling turkey tail for several years, but the mullen, I think, exceeds the benefits, in my opinion. Um, just giving you a little heads up. Mwah.